it was a phase. Uh, thankfully, I'm, I'm through it now. Hey, it's John Aiken here, expert from Merit at First Sight. And today, I am very excited because I get to look through some of the key photos that I've got on my Instagram account. Enjoy. That was the first photo that I think I've ever used that I posted on Instagram. I didn't even know how to post it. I needed a friend to help me. But that was a birthday photo of myself and my wife, Kelly. She always looks much better than me. So I try and get her in as many shots as I can. Wow, I mean, that reminds me of when this show started back in 2015. Mass was this small ob doc, fly on the wall uh, sort of series. No one thought that it would be you know, a huge success. And then 10 years on, it's the number one show and it goes into 120 countries. So that brings back memories of when it all first began. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I guess, you know, that, that's me trying to be fun daddy with the hat on backwards and the kids are a bit young there. I think my boy is photo bombing in the background. That's always, uh, uh, it makes me laugh. When I'm not on maths, I'm trying to be around for the kids. You know, we, we get out and about a lot and we're a pretty tight family unit and that's a good shot of the fun that we can have. Uh, yes, I do. That there is me essentially wiped out at the end of a long PR day. Once a year, uh, the maths experts get together and we do photos. Different shots, different lighting, different wardrobe. And that stage there, I'm kind of, I'm checked out, you know. I mean, there's only so much you can do in terms of the smile on the face uh, and the clothes. And I think uh, that there tells it all. Yes, that there is January 21st, 2007, where I got married with my wife on this island just off New Zealand called Waiheke. That was one of the highlights, I think, for me. We were very happy there. It was an amazing day. We had all family and friends. We got married at a place called Delamore Lodge and then went to a magnificent winery where we drank and ate well into the night. So, a special day. Oof, I mean, I look at that and I think straight away, I don't know what I was thinking with the hair. It's too high, there's way too much product. But you know, I'm, I'm playing around. And I think, you know, maths can get very serious, particularly at the commitment ceremonies and the dinner parties. So when I'm, you know, doing PR and I'm off screen, I do try if I can to have a laugh, particularly at myself. Well, Cam and Jules, I mean, they, really are a standout couple over the 10 years. They got married for real. They've had a family, young family, and they're delightful. You know, well, I'm always reminded of them, you know, because regardless of how many challenges the couples get on each experiment, Cam and Jules were able to be a unified front. They turned towards each other. They never blamed. They just said, we got each other's back here. And, you know, Five years on, six years on, look at where they are now. Still together, very happy as a family and having great careers. Yeah, I mean, this is really exciting times for me because I get to spend part of my week talking to Alessandra, it's got that lovely accent. But also we, we look at other issues, uh, bigger relationship issues. So we, we look at these bigger issues and also give you some practical take homes. So for me, I love doing this podcast. It's growing fast and um, it's just another exciting opportunity that I've had uh, since um, being a part of this show. So I'm very, very thankful. I had no idea when I first signed up uh, for MAPS that it would be a juggernaut uh, going into 120 countries. Uh, there's a lot of noise around it. It's, it can be a polarizing show. People seem to love it or hate it, but they've got opinions on it, which is great. And for me, it gets people talking about dating and relationships, which I love. It's just a dream come true. You know what, having looked at all these photos today, I'd have to say that, you know, uh, it's, it's wonderful to look at them and actually be transported back to that moment. There's a lot of warmth there when I see my wife and I see the kids and the fun. Also, there's plenty of cringe and embarrassment when I look at, you know, some of the looks that I've got. But I guess I love doing this because it, it, it really reminds you of, of, of some of the times. It allows you to reminisce and I've really enjoyed it. It's, it's taken me in different directions. <laughs>